It's really important for our students to be able to navigate through documents and the easiest way for them to be able to do that is tabbing, but it not only helps our students who may be using a screen reader, it also helps any students who might just need those sort of explanations and those breakings in the actual document. So using the heading types in Microsoft Word, if you're creating it there, is really helpful. And you can run the accessibility checker, which is part of Microsoft Word, it's built in, and that will flag areas that may need some attention. That can be really helpful for you as a faculty member or as an instructional designer when you're just sort of checking your work and making sure that things are created in an accessible way. Styles and lists provide structure, a semantic structure for um, individuals with screen readers to navigate the electronic information. Having, you know, things like the heading styles, like heading level one and heading level two, designates uh, importance of information. So, for example, there's a title and then there's the chapter name, right? And that would be like a heading level one. And so, you know, structuring with styles and headings enables someone to uh, access this information as quickly as possible and with great ease. Um, and so, you know, someone uh, using a screen reader would use a keyboard shortcut to access the different heading levels. And so if they wanted to specifically go to chapter three, they could easily do that. And if you don't provide that kind of semantic structure, they would have to go through the entire document or, you know, click the find button to look for what they're looking for when you or I may be able to just easily find something with our eyes the headings and styles enable a screen reader user to do that as easily. And so they're really important um, to be able to navigate this information. Um, additionally, uh, the semantic structure is really important in things like Word documents or PDFs or PowerPoints because if you have unordered lists or if you create your own text boxes or if you put cells within cells of documents. If there's no semantic structure, the screen reader may get stuck in a cell. It may not read all of the information on the slide. It may not read all the information in the document. And so, um, you know, these individuals may be losing key information because you chose not to use this, a style or a predefined slide in PowerPoint. And so, um, you know, it doesn't take away creativity, you just have to be, be careful that the content is structured in such a way that the screen reader can navigate and access all the information. I think it's really easy, especially when you're creating text and typing it directly into Blackboard or whatever your learning management system is, to overlook the use of headings there. It's more intuitive to use them when we're creating documents and creating content outside of our actual LMS. But when we're in there and we're typing a quick announcement, that's where a lot of times we forget to actually use those headings and those stylistic features that are really helpful to students. If you include headings in a document, um, this benefits both users with and without disabilities because it's more consistent, it's pretty clear, um, and you can, you can see the headings. And so um, it provides a visual organization. And even you know, when you use headings in uh, products like Microsoft Word, for example, you can navigate by headings alone with or without a screen reader. And so if you're looking for a particular part of the syllabus, for example, you want to know um, how grades are eva evaluated. Um, then you can go right to that section because it's within the navigational pane of the document.